Hello everyone and welcome for 3D Printing for Creatives. Um, this week we are going to be having a bit of a look at freeform modelling within the Fusion 360 workspace. Okay, now there are some fundamental differences between freeforming and parametric modelling within Fusion. Um, the purpose of these tutorials is essentially just to have a look at essentially the base sort of um, workflow and getting an understanding of how you can start to modify some shapes. The big thing about freeform modeling is I like to treat the analogy um, that you're essentially sculpting clay. So there's a couple of different ways we can approach it, but uh, at least for the start of these tutorials, we'll be working with what we call the base shapes. Okay, And I'll show you how you can modify and adjust said base shapes. Um, there is also, uh, and you would have seen these hopefully in the Autodesk tutorials that you've been doing, that you can also make um, shapes up essentially from two-dimensional um, flat faces or planes and then you add faces and sculpt and shape that way, um, which is also a really powerful way of shaping and modelling. And we'll have a little bit of a discussion about those as well. But essentially, um, for this tutorial, what we're sort of interested in looking at is um, essentially how we create our um, shapes using T-splines. That's the technology behind um, freeforming. And T-splining is basically mathematical modeling to define freeform surfaces, okay? Um, it is a variation of NURBS. Um, we're getting a bit techy here. Non-uniform rational basis spline, okay? So again, um, think Vector artwork in Illustrator, you've got a mathematical equation model um, which essentially defines um, a line or architecture within space, okay? But we're moving in a three-dimensional space, which is what we have. Um, so NURBS and T-splines are, are variations on that concept, okay? Um, and the beautiful thing about that is that it gives you a huge amount of control in your um, initial sort of build. So as you're starting to put shapes together, you have a lot of control. Um, and it also means the software takes quite a bit of work out of the somewhat laborious technical aspects about getting a shape. Um, you'll see with some of these, and I'll show you how to make this one at the end, for instance, which is starting to look like a steering wheel. Um, a lot of the work in terms of the form generation um, is carried by the software. So you're not struggling to figure out how to make a fillet work and, and things like that, okay? So that's gonna be the um, lectures this week. Um, it's just one fundamental thing that I wanna to talk to you about in this lecture before we move into the base shapes is um, when we've spoken about in the past, um, 3D meshes. So when we scan data, that's often the way that a 3D mesh is um, compiled a 3D mesh is compiled which gives us that defined form, okay? And you can see with these guys here, all right, this is a really low polygon or a low count mesh, and this is starting to turn into a high count mesh. You can see that there's some other things going on here with forming, but essentially we've got two-dimensional shapes which are making about a three-dimensional object. And so the more polygons we have, okay, the more resolution we have, okay? also means the greater control we have over the, over the, um, the finished object. It does get complicated, okay, because by doing that means that the more um, essentially faces we have, the more definition we have, the more control we have, can also mean um, that it's going to make your life somewhat more difficult in terms of modifying a shape down the track. Okay, and I'll show you that in a moment. But the big thing to take away from this is when we create an object in this space, um, it will essentially be made up of essentially faces. But you can see the difference is, and this is where the T-spines come in, these faces are actually curved. They actually carry form. So it's not like a traditional polygon model. Okay, we've just got flat faces here our faces are actually curved, okay? And that's because of the T-spines. So that's a fundamental sort of difference we have to understand with these two, okay? 
um, and then just understanding how we can modify and make changes as a result of that. Cool. All right. I'll see you in the next video.